Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today we going going and pick up some of them drop jewels that's going on during the week that we didn't get to pick up on Talk Shop, thumbnails, or even on screen. And uh, this week we got three pretty cool things that a couple of folks told me to pick up on. And let's just go on and get this started. First up, we've got that's right, bright. Uh, a brand new film written by Max Landis, directed by David Ayer. You got your boy Will Smith. How can you lose, right? Well, that's exactly what Netflix was thinking. And it's exactly what I'm thinking because this trailer does a perfect job of what a teaser trailer is supposed to do. I am extremely interested in what is going on with like these aliens or these orcs that are you know in human society it just seems like a normal thing but then you have this huge like hellboy type sword and you know like these people like looking at each other with their skin glowing and people screaming um it, it's it's giving you just enough to say hey this is a whole world full of lore full of like infighting full of its own historical differences between I'm pretty sure these different species that they're about to introduce us to in a very big in a very extremely dope way and i gonna be honest I am very hyped over it it's only about 30 seconds but it's enough for me to say you know what I'm on board and I'm pretty sure that anyone else that has a Netflix account or if you're using one of your friends or maybe your brothers you're gonna be down to <laughs> check this joint out too. Uh, Joel Edgerton is supposed to be in that joint. I think he's an orc, so you probably won't be able to see his face, but it's supposed to be him and Will Smith, I guess, navigating through this crazy future world that, you know, is just going on with this interspecies, you know, relations with just a beat cop that just gotta do his thing. So I'm very interested to see where bright leads will smith especially with that big sword that he's picking up and talking about this ain't gonna be good it might not be good for you it's definitely gonna be good for watchers um because i'm excited and since i'm excited that means that it's definitely good for netflix because they about to make that cash but anyway let's go on and move on because i cannot wait to see what you guys say down in the comments so let's go on and push it forward just a bit and next up <laughs> We are gonna talk about that Alien Covenant. Who boy, once again, really Scott Dunn did it? Look, I'm gonna be honest, man. I saw the trailer, we saw the, the first teaser, and then they gave us a prologue, which about four or five minutes, kind of give us an idea how the crew was and how they acted. But this trailer once again drives home the point that there is going to be a large, sense of desperation in this film uh these people are screwed straight up like you see they they open up in the trailer and they're like oh we're so happy we're gonna be colonists and we're gonna be colonizing this world and everybody's so happy for each other and yeah y'all did they will not be in Covenant 2, okay? So just just so you know. Now, it's pretty cool because you see that apparently somebody planted that wheat that, you know, the guy's like, there's wheat here and, you know, there's grass or whatever. And he's like, somebody must have planted this. And there's some spores on the ground or whatever that they're crackling and stepping on. That was the most unnatural step, though, when he stepped and crackled all the... But we ain't gonna go there. People just be stepping wrong. But... It, it's pretty cool to see where she was like, hold up, where's the, where's the life? Where's like the animals at? And that's when it takes a turn for the worse. And you see the path to paradise begins in hell. And I'm gonna be honest, whoo, this joint looks primed to be like one of those high rewatch, um, uh, extremely dope thriller horror action you know getaway kind of joints 
that I'm all up for. Now, usually, this would be the point where I would take Hollywood to task and be like, there ain't enough black people in this, there ain't enough people of color in this, and something ain't right. Because, you know, you came out with the Disney photo with the Han Solo cast, and I was all on Twitter, and I was like, you know what? That's not right. Now, this film is a little bit different because Disney would talk about fantasy. This is supposed to be based in a little bit of realism. And I'm going to be straight up with everyone here. And black people ain't going. Just straight up. We're, we're not going. We're not getting on a ship. The last time we got on a ship, look, we're not getting on a ship and going to some other planet or something. So this one, you fine. You you can cast, you can have your whole white movie. Usually you always have all white movie, but you can have your whole cast and we ain't even gonna complain because we ain't going. We're not going. If you put out a call today saying, yo, look, my brothers and sisters, how many of y'all want to go on a ship to Jupiter? It's gonna be relationships and, and we gonna colonize and let's go to Jupiter. You will get no replies on that, bruh. None. So, I'm hyped for the movie. And, you know, this is one time I'm going to let you slide on the whole diversity issue. Because, really, Scott, we know how you get down. But anyway, next up, and last but not least, is without, you know, any hesitation, without any of the regard to the other trailers that they've put out, because they've already put out, like, two or three, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 seems to keep hitting us with just tons of amazing colors and imagery and it's just it's really looking trailer wise it's looking A plus now I don't know what the movie's going to be like um, but it looks like it's going to be one of those movies that is just once again exciting it's fun tons of action tons of comedy I'm loving Drax in just about every scene I see him in. When Rocket is talking about winking his eyes, using the wrong eye, Baby Groot with the, you know, putting on the seatbelt or whatever. This trailer works for me on so many levels. Now, the only thing is, how in the world you can go to a planet of nothing but gold shorties and mess up? I don't know. It wouldn't happen to me though. But all I'm saying is, you got Gamora, Nebula, uh, Rocket, Baby Groot, Drax. You got the gold shorties acting all mad. You got this crazy squid thingy and, you know, just action everywhere, explosions, cool stuff. This thing has everything a popcorn film needs. Like, almost, they've literally checked every single box. Uh, the only box that I really hope they checked is a box of having a, if not compelling, a serviceable villain. Um, running the Accuser really was kind of like an afterthought. So hopefully this time uh, the gold women or the ladies in gold or the, the gold shorties, I guess, will be very, um, at least serviceable, very vicious, very, um, maybe not scary, but just imposing, powerful, uh, hard to kill. Um, and besides that, man, I am here. I am ready for a good old Star Lord Snake Plissken of a time. Because, like, when Kurt Russell came up out that, like, he was looking smooth with the, you know, he got the beard looking smooth. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front. Dude, look nice. So this trailer is another one, just like the rest of them, man. Like all week, it's been good, man. Like, you got Bright was dope. Alien Covenant was dope. Even this here with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is dope. We've got a lot of, to look forward to, like, for real, for real. So anyway, guys, jump down in the comments. Let me know what you think about these trailers that we got going on now. And let's get the speculation going because I love speculating about stuff to come. And before I get out of here, I got to tell y'all to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. You can check me out there. All of my videos from the oldest to the newest. Whether I'm on my own channel, chilling with Isaac, After Buzz, Popcorn Talk Network, any of that. Then you can check out shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And never, ever forget to pick up one for your playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, and subscribe, and share that nerd soul. Because there is no way I can tell people that you like what you are watching. 
And of course, I love LA What Up, VA What Up, RVA, you got my heart. And please, y'all, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Peace.